So we are flying around the world now down to Brazil. Um, we will see now Gateway, co-winner of Latin America finals. First product uh, is Gateway Search. The solution enables any industry to precisely monitor real-time scale sales data from retailers. Smarter analytics available at a low cost, simple as plug and play. That's what they said. So, benvindo al final global do Smart Camp, the CEO Marcio Chape. So, I'm Marcio Chape, and I'm here to present Gateway. Let's start with one thing. Data is crucial for any business to take better decisions. We saw this big retailer in the US that starts seeing the correlation between the selling of diapers and beers. By simply changing the location of the two products in store, they increase sales by 15%. The thing is, getting this data in the whole market is not one big retailer. Guilherme Maceroni, the founder of the company, used to be an owner of an advertisement agency. So he went to this client, a big shoemaker in Brazil, and asked, OK, how many of your flip-flops were sold today to customers? They couldn't find an answer to give them. They knew how many they sold to the retailers, but they didn't know how many customers actually bought them. Guilherme was blown away by that and started going after other clients to see, OK, is this situation works for others? And it was the same for a series of other products. They could not know what was the real sales data there in the retailers. So what we do? We provide companies access to real-time sales data as they are happening in the retailers, even the small retailers around Brazil so far. How it works? It takes two minutes for us to install, and my grandma could do uh, the installation of our tool. It's embedded in any combination of hardware and software and directly installed in the retailer commercial automation. This information is captured, we treat it, and we return to different players in the, um, in the value chain. So that CPGs, the big companies, they can use data to, to increase sales by 3%, to increase sales team efficiency by 20%. Also, cooperatives of uh, retailers can get better prices from the supplier up to 12%. And finally, the retailers, these small retailers that get the service for free, they can get up to 5% better performance in that sales. This means for every dollar we get from, uh, in value, we generate eight for the value chain. So examples on how we are comparable to the competition. The competition takes four weeks to get this data back to the value chain. We get it in real time. Their solution is hard, is heavy to be implemented, which means big players can easily install it, but the small retailers cannot do it. And we have very precise data that's captured in an automated manner. Why it's so important? The global market and uh, retailers uh, accounts for $15 trillion in sales. In Brazil, more specifically, there are $400 billion in sales every year in retailers. But two-thirds of the 66% of the sales happen in the small retailers, where the competition cannot afford to go. And we can do it in a market that's really uh, fragmented and where the a strategy chosen by the government to grow is increased consumption in the middle class. So it's a perfect scenario for us to go there and capture what we want is $300 million in revenues uh, in 10 years' time. So what's our evolution so far? We started in 2010, Guilherme Maceroni. Uh, he used to be an owner of an advertisement agency. So he had the idea wrote a business plan, got $60,000 uh, from the government, and started researching and all the legalities that are needed so that we could capture this data, treat this data, and sell this data. So after one year and a half dealing with lawyers, uh, we actually start dealing with the technology. That's when Tiago joined the team. Tiago has 15 years experience in developing solutions for commercial automations and databases. So in six months, he developed the tool and tested in 25 retailers. Then, four months ago, I joined the team. And then we start. <coughs> <laughs> 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 
And uh, leveraging on my background in McKinsey and company as a consultant and also helping other startups to, to grow, we started actually selling the product. We got an angel investor, and now we are running in 200 uh, retailers. Actually, we're just getting installed in 200 retailers. And what we expect till the end of the year to reach 2,000 retailers coverage and to have a full team so that in the next year, we can reach 10,000 retailers, reach our break-even, and more importantly, we can start providing smarter advice for these retailers, for these CPGs companies, because we're going to have capillarity enough to do that. So then we can actually go global and start selling the solution somewhere else. So this is Gateway. It took me four to five minutes to explain the solution, and the solution could be installed in several stores by now and could be up and running. So let's just like use this time throughout the year. Thank you very much. Yeah. So congratulations on being a finalist. You, you had a terrific presentation yesterday, and uh, this one is also very good. I have a question about your global strategy. Where will you start, and why do you think your strategy, which worked for you in Brazil, will work for the company outside Brazil? Perfect. Very good question. We aim at starting uh, the international expansion by Latin America. Why? There are many similarities with the Brazilian market in terms of technology they use in commercial automations. And also the Brazilian legislation is tougher than in the other countries in terms of taxes, regulations, and all that in those other countries. So it's a market which is similar and that we have knowledge in too. So we aim at starting at Latin America, the global expansion. OK, quick question for you. You, you showed up there. Sorry. <laughs> Um, quick question for you. So we, we saw what Nielsen was doing. Um, what is to stop them from then replicating a little bit more about what you're doing uh, so that it can quickly catch up into uh, your solution? Yeah. That's also a very good question. Uh, our technology, to begin with, it's patent, and we have the copyright on it, so uh, it's not easy to simply copy it. Secondly, we spent a lot of time with govern mo government money with lawyers to make sure uh, we know where to capture because commercial automation in Brazil, it's sealed. So uh, you cannot copy uh, or copy or transfer the information once it's there in the folder where the information goes up for the government. We just found a way of capturing, capturing it uh, before it goes to the final folder. So that's the, uh, the sorry. Uh, so that's the idea. We, we patent technology. We have the copyrights. We have uh, a lot of uh, lawyers work on that. And now so we find a way of collecting the data so that's not corrupted uh, in the terms of the legislation in Brazil. So that's it. So what is, what's the trick to winning a retailer? I mean, that's a rapid scale, scale up that you're talking about. How can you scale up that quickly? That's a very, very good question. The ones that we have answers for are a great question, then. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so uh, the strategy we're using is to reach what we call the, the anchors for the strategy. So we go to these big CPGs companies and actually have them uh, imposing the solution or uh, suggesting kindly to the smaller retailers to implement it. And uh, how it works, actually, the first 200 uh, retailers we have the solution to be installed at we went to a meeting in a big CPG company, and he said, OK, you're not big enough for us now, but you go to this part and then install in these stores. So this is the strategy we're going. We're going for the, the, the big fish first. We offer and then help uh, have him offering with us the solution for the retailers. The second thing is that the solution is free for the retailers. And the smaller the retailer is in Brazil, the more empirical he is in this, uh, the marketing strategies they use. So we provide the data we collect from him. We provide also suggestions on how he could improve performance. So this is the two big things we're going, like top down and bottom up. So we can get them incentivized to have the tool. Thank you. Thank you.